right, well, welcome everybody to today's webinar. My name is Alex. I'm going to be hanging out with you here for a little bit today. Uh, what we're going to be going over today is how to do a bank reconciliation in Aplos. And for those of you who don't know, what bank reconciliation is, is a process that you go through to ensure that the information in your accounting software is accurate when compared with your bank's statement. Okay, so per month, uh, per month, you get a, a bank statement or however, however often you, uh, you want to retrieve that from your bank, and it shows all the transactions that have uh, cleared your bank within that period of time. So what you want to do for this bank reconciliation process is print that uh, report. Let's just, let's just uh, go with monthly for now. So let's say you print that monthly statement that shows all the transactions hitting your bank. And what you do is you go and compare that with the information in Aplos to make sure that there's no errors, there's no duplications. Uh, for the most part, the, the whole purpose of this is to, again, ensure that the information in Aplos is compared uh, accurately with your bank so that when you go log into Aplos, you know that as of a certain date, I know that all the transactions are uh, you know, accurate when compared with my bank. So if my check register says you've got you know $1,000, you know that to be true as of a certain date because of your bank reconciliation. Okay, so bank rec uh, in Aplos, uh, first of all, you'll need to enable it. So if you click on accounting and then go to advanced settings, bank reconciliation is one of those uh, apps that you can turn on there for free. So just hit show and then hit go, uh, or you can go into transactions and then that will show up here, bank reconciliation. Okay, so let's uh, click on that. So let's say that I am uh, doing my first bank reconciliation. So what this is a process of is you take that bank statement and you put in the statement ending date. So let's say this is as of the end of October, or, uh, excuse me, September. And my balance in my bank as of that day is, you know, $17,505, for instance. Uh, for your first bank reconciliation, the first one ever, your opening balance is going to say zero. If you have a question about that, you can click right here. It'll tell you. But uh, in short, what that means is you just haven't done a bank reconciliation yet. So there is no opening balance. According to the system, the opening balance is zero, and you have to clear transactions up to your ending balance. Now, once we're done with a bank reconciliation, the ending balance will become the opening balance of the next statement, okay? So for the first one, that's why it says zero, okay? So let's say we're doing this for the month of September. You pick your ending date and your ending balance. Hit start reconciliation, and then that's going to bring up the list of all transactions that have transpired or been recorded in your bank account within that period of time or uh, altogether. So what it's a process of now is you going down the list on your bank statement, that piece of paper that you printed out, and saying, you know, in September, uh, let's see, I had a $550 payment. There that is. Check. On the 15th, I also had a $100 payment. I'm going to find that and then check and then I had a deposit of you know six hundred dollars there that is check so you go down the list and if there's ever a line that's uh, on your bank statement but not in your app list then what you want to do is hit finish later go investigate that that might be a transaction that you actually need to enter into Aplos uh, in order for everything to balance and this is my first one and I've got a lot of stuff in here so I'm just going to clear everything other than October here this is not the best practice but just to show you what it looks like when we're done so let's say that uh, you went through you checked up all these transactions all the transactions on your bank statement are present and accounted for in the accounting so they're all checked and if you look down here what that's going to show is here's my beginning balance Here's my checks and payments, here's my deposits, which leads me to my ending balance. So my beginning minus checks and payments plus deposits equals my statement ending balance, so that's that. My cleared balance is the same, so there's a zero dollar difference between what I have checked off here and what I input as what my bank says I should have, okay? So once the difference is zero, you can hit finish now, and that will then finish the bank reconciliation for that period of time and put you on this bank reconciliation report, which is now available in the reports section, which essentially shows what we just went over. So here's my reconciliation date. I reconciled my checking account. My ending date and balance are right here. Here's all the transactions that have been cleared in that period of time. Down towards the bottom are all of my, excuse me, are all of my uncleared transactions. It's okay to have something uncleared. Um, so like if you wrote a check in September and recorded it then, but it hasn't cleared yet, that's okay. It hasn't cleared your bank. That doesn't matter. Uh, just don't, you know, don't check that off 
uh, in the month that it hasn't actually hit your bank because that will throw off your bank reconciliations. Okay, so here's your bank rec report. And then for the next statement, let's go back to transactions and go to bank reconciliation. So now you can see that my ending balance of 17505 is now my opening balance of the next month. And now I can put in my ending balance for October. And let's say I have uh, now $1,600, $500, and then start reconciliation. And then you start the process over again. You go through, check off everything. And then if there's any discrepancies, then you can go uh, look into it. Click finish later and go from there. Okay, so that is a bank reconciliation. Uh, again, the, the whole process is uh, you comparing the information in Applos with your bank's statement. So that way, as of uh, whatever time you're reconciling to, whether it be the end of a month or a week or a quarter or a year, you can know that uh, the information in Applos is accurate when compared with your bank. Okay, alrighty. So let's uh, open it up for some Q&A. You're bound to have some questions. So uh, feel free to uh, submit anything in that GoToWebinar control panel question field, and I will uh, mute myself for just a minute.